Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. And today I'm in Norfolk at a place called Woodton, or on the edge of Woodton, outside a property called Long Barn. It's set in three quarters of an acre of garden and very productive vegetable garden that you see at the back. And you can't really see it because I can't get across there well enough, but it's got lovely views out the front. Cross onto wooded area as the land drops away. There's a rather lovely barn conversion in this. It's in a, there's a couple of others around here, um, but the way this is configured, you, you have no idea at all. It's got a lot of privacy. It's got a fair bit of space as well. And the garden is a true delight. We're into sort of the winter period, so it's not looking at its absolute best. But you've got an idea of the structure that's here. It's got a bit of something for everybody, a bit of the good life. So you've got the orchard with the chickens. Just saying hello to them there. There we go, right on cue. And then we come round to the back. And the back garden, very productive. The chicken pen there, composting boxes. And then you've got this whole series of raised beds and fruit cages. Absolute delight. You're pretty much self-sufficient. And the raised brick part there that you see, that's an ornamental pond. So we go around this way. Here we have timber garden store. And we've got the rear access access to the rear I should say it's not a rear access as such I'll just pull the gate to wait a while I do that and I'll take around this side so you have an idea of there's some of the other properties hello one of the neighbours and here we have the part of the barn that you drive up to what is actually owned if you see the black roller doors that I'm coming to now, that's where the barn starts. It's attached to just four other garages, so really it is detached. It's linked to those parts there. Sun's right in the lens, so I hope you can see what I'm, I'm looking at. You can see the reason it's called a long barn. And you've got the parking area here, and this is the shared drive. So what I'll now do is I'll take you inside. So here we are back at the door and you've got double doors opening into the entrance lobby and look at the floor. There's lovely honey colored pavement tiles. And the further door takes us into the hallway where you have an oak floor. And you've got this exposed ceiling and what we'll do is I'll take you into this room first of all. This is a beautiful room, vaulted ceiling. It's lovely and big, sort of six meters by six meters, so about 20 by 20 in real terms. And it's a lovely bright room. You've got these big windows that look out into the garden and the focal point of the fireplace. So there it is from the other direction. So you've got a vaulted ceiling, but it's not so high that it feels huge and you feel lost in there or anything like that. Now I can take the rooms in the order that they come. So this is the study, but could be and was previously used as a bedroom. Got all good bookshelving. Got a cloakroom here. Helps to put the light on. And then we have utility area, towel rail, shower. So if you've been out in the garden and you're grubby, you can have a shower there. Rear lobby, dump all your dirty goods. And then we go through into the double garage, which as with most double garages, isn't actually used as such, but it is a double garage. 
everything will be gone. Don't worry about that. And we can just oh, get around the corner. Because you've got two electric roller doors. So they're easy to get in and out of. The property has both solar paneling and uh, photovoltaic. So it's a good eco-friendly element to it as well. And this part through here, this finishes off the living area. So we've got a really lovely open plan kitchen dining, again with this high vaulted ceiling. Well equipped kitchen, which is partly divided. I like the idea of this because you have got a bit of privacy, which if you cook like anything like me, you can burn the items without your friends and family being sat here laughing at you but you are still part of the whole feel. So it is a lovely room. Again, good and bright. And then we have an opening into the garden room. See that there? Keep an eye on all the veg and salads that you're growing out the back. The corridor leading off that's the light flood in from the front garden. And then we have one bedroom here, decent sized double. Again, the ceiling timbers on display. Beside it, we have what was originally a bedroom, now being turned into a dressing room. So airing cupboard is there. And then you've got wardrobes on this side. But if you prefer, they could be taken out or it could be a single room in any event. Then we have the bathroom, which is what we term a Jack and Jill, because you've got two doors, one from the hall and one from the main bedroom. So it can be used as an ensuite if you prefer. Everything you need. And then finally, Main bedroom, far end of the house, lots of windows, but you're nicely sheltered here because against the front of the house, you've got this timber veranda. That must be glorious when the uh, bushes are out fully. If you've got a wisteria hanging down there. And that's what we have. So ladies and gents, that's the property. If you want to view, just give us a call on 01379 641 341. Or you can always send an email to us if it's easier, which is prop at twgaze.co.uk. And we can arrange all the viewing for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll look forward to hearing from you.